me baby. That's the song of the weekend in our house. Is it? We've literally played that like on repeat. <laughs> <laughs> Just dance to All right. Yep. Great. Yep. Nah, that's all I have to say. Yeah. Josh! Okay. Welcome back to our stupid reaction of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who supports on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter, account, subscribe, subscribe, and subscribe. Hit the like subscribe. button. Do it. Do it. It makes you happier. It makes you healthier. It makes you more beautiful. And welcome back. Uh, and congratulations to Lapacha ladies. Yes. Am I? Am I always Lapacha. I think that's right. Lapacha. I believe. I believe that's right. Have you seen our review of Lapacha ladies or the watch along I did with Steph? Uh, please go watch those. Uh, to know our our. Our, our full, full in-depth our full in depth review. Uh, we love the movie. We the do. Movie is absolutely fantastic. I gave it a platinum medal. But the reason we're uh, doing this now is because anytime um, the uh, India submission for the Oscar gets announced, people have um, want our opinion on it. Uh, I think we do it almost every year. Yep. Our, give our opinion on it. And if you didn't ask, we're gonna give <laughs> we're you gonna our give opinion it to you anyway. anyway. <laughs> uh, welcome to our stupid reactions. You didn't ask for our opinion, but here it is. <laughs> but here it is anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, but so we'll just go over like what we think about the pick, uh, if we think it was a good pick, what we think the chances are, uh, just to go over a, kind of a, yeah. a little bit um, of everything. But Rick, what did you think? Of the, well, uh, of I the pick? first of all, I'm I'm really happy for them. I'm happy for everybody who was involved in it. They're very deserving of accolades. It is one of India's best films of the year yes. that we've seen. Um, uh, the the reason we're not in a position to give a full educated opinion about it is because we have not seen all we, we imagine is light, but it also wasn't submitted for France. No, which was from their perspective. It was their way of going, <laughs> here you go. <laughs> yeah. Exactly what we were talking about. The French were looking at yeah, it and like, saying, this is Indian. We, we have produced this. The entirety of this film is Indian. So there you go, guys. Yeah. And it's... Take, take a film that has never done what it did at Cannes in 30 years mm -hmm. uh, and it not get the nomination. It's why here in Hollywood, yeah. it's being called a snub. Yeah. It's, um, it's, I, I, it, it's difficult to have this conversation because we haven't seen it. Obviously. Exactly. So like... And if, like, we had seen it, we're like, oh, my God, how is that not the pick? And then right. you can have that conversation. Which we'll, we will have once we see all we imagine. So, so. obviously, that, I, I, we've said it before, that, just by knowing about the film and what it did it can, was my front runner. Right. Lapita leaves probably three right now. Me too. Uh, after, um... Adam and Girl. Adam and Girl. Yeah. Um... But I, I don't think Adam and Girl and Lapacha Ladies are extremely far apart in terms of, um, like, like in terms of like I think their chances both. Right. I think they have about equal chances. Yeah. Um. I I just so you could have flipped a coin and I think they would. But but I would probably like if I had to choose I would be like okay Adam and Girl would probably be my first uh, uh, if before I see. Yeah, but uh, see, before we see Light, uh, whatever the Light movie is. Right. And then after that, it would have been Lapacha Ladies. Yes. Um, this is not like an RRR situation. RRR was an anomaly. Anomaly. It's not a film that would normally ever have been submitted to no. the Oscars. No. It's just what it did to the American culture here and how much we loved it here. Yes. Hence Internationally. It, hence, it would have been a shoe in yeah. uh, because of how much people loved it. Yes. Not because it's the normal style that normally Oscars go for it, because it's not. It's not. But... That was a very unique year. Yeah. Um, and so that absolutely should have been the pick. And this feels similar to me in a certain way in that I think people are going to be talking a lot about should it have been all we imagine is light. And once we see it, let's say, for example, we feel the same way. Yeah. Let's say we feel the same way. Yeah. It reminds me of the last film show it and how that movie is such a good movie. But all anybody talked about was that it shouldn't have been the submission now last year wasn't that our, our year though it was that's yeah. why th th that's why people were saying everyone was saying oh our, our, there, our should have been the submission but there are differences for me in it though last film show is a great film yes, it is the the difference is is this last film show absolutely nobody had on their radar no when it came out right like when uh when this nomination came out for it uh from india right um and 
it was a very small film. And so um, the backing behind it. This has Amir Khan behind it. And another producer and who's an, got yeah, deep yeah, pockets. Exactly. So uh, it, there was a, a tweet from, um, uh, you know you know who he is. He's the Indian reviewer. He's bald. Oh, I know who you're um, talking about. I'm just not remembering his name. Um, let me see. I know, I, I know who you're referring he, he to. He tweeted something here. Hold on. There. His name is uh, Bard, Bardwash yes. Rajan. Yeah. Submitting a film uh, for the Oscars is not just about the film being good, but also whether the producers have the funds, desires, and know-how slash contacts to mount a huge expensive campaign. Oscars campaign. Correct. That's 100% correct. Um, I I pushed back a little bit. I, I was like, I, I think La Pachita Ladies is a fine choice, um, and I think it does have a chance. Um, that's not always the case, though, because right. RR had plenty of deep pockets. Correct. <laughs> so uh, it's not always the case. Um, but, you know, this year, I think it could be as opposed to um, the last film show. Right. Which didn't have those. Right. Uh, and also no word of mouth. Right. Before that. Right. Lava of the Ladies does. Right. A lot of people do consider it the best Hindi film of the year. Um, and so, and it has Amir Khan backing it and other big producers backing it. Yes. Uh, and I think, um, the director, which I believe is Amir Khan's ex-wife, right? Um. Yes. It, it does have people here, um, in connections. Uh, and so that's all fantastic. And I think it does bode well. Might be why they chose it. Yes. Uh, it, outside of its own merits, which it does have its own merits. In addition to the fact that it's already on an OTT platform, it's on Netflix, so people can see it. Yeah. It makes it easy for nominating people to see it. Yeah. However, it's really tough to imagine a film that did what it did at Cannes. Yeah. Um, because here's, here's what it should be about. And this is what bothers me. And there was something that the head of the, the, the committee, the film committee who does the, the submission said, yeah. um, that I understand it, but I don't fully agree with it in terms of what your criteria should be to submit a film to the Oscars. Okay. What was it? So what he said was, uh, he said during, during an interview, he was asked about the reason why it was selected. And he said, the jury has to look at the right film that represents India on all fronts. Particularly, the film has to represent India's social systems and ethos. The Indianness is very important, and Lapata Ladies scored on that front. It's important that the best suited film which represents India is sent. Um, yeah, I, I, hard, I it's disagree. Hard, it's hard to say without seeing because, all we imagine. Is like well, here's reason. the thing. Right. First of all, we don't know yeah. how Indian that film is. Yeah. But your criteria at the very top should be how good is the artistry. The films that – two of the films that have been the biggest talked about films that have won the best international film. Last year was The Zone of Interest. Mm -hmm. It tells a story about World War II and its primary characters and everything about the story is German. Mm -hmm. It was a UK film. Yeah. It didn't have anything to do with Englishness. Parasite. Yes, it takes place in South Korea. It doesn't definitively have at its core mm. Koreanness. Both of those films have at their core artistic excellence and it's why they won the yeah. oscar for best international film i understand i understand what you're saying I, and I i agree it shouldn't be the first thing obviously i i i, I know I'm, you'd love I, I i would love for it to be that i'm okay with it being a um reason that you choose a film i don't mind it being uh, a reason um, correct but that, that's a nice that's a nice knows? benefit and who knows maybe he the way he said it is interpreted not how he meant it who knows obviously um, but obviously, and I, I don't think that conversation pertains to La Pichet Ladies because I think the artistic merit of La Pichet Ladies is extremely it's high. It's extremely high. And also extremely accessible. It's extremely to accessible. the Western audiences. Correct. So that, I don't think that's a, a dig at all uh, from what we're saying at La Pichet Ladies. Uh, I think it's uh, No, I'm not worthy. digging. That's not um, a dig at La Pichet Ladies. That, what it, that is for this me. This is such a weird conversation because we have no idea what all we imagine is like. Yeah, no. We're just assuming that it's. Amazing because of what we've heard. Correct. Uh, and no. it, it, well, we've seen we're like, oh, yeah, that shouldn't have been said. Yeah, my, <laughs> my, my, my quoting him isn't a dig at Lapata, ladies. My, my, my quoting him is a questioning 
of the mindset and rationale of the committee, which, by the way, if that was your rationale a few years ago, yeah. why'd you pick Gully Boy? Yeah. You picked Gully Boy because it was a star vehicle with a lot of deep pockets for promotion. Yeah. It was good film. Yeah. But it wasn't, it w didn't meet that criteria. Um, yeah. And it's going to be so interesting to see all we imagine is like. Um, <laughs> what, My hope, we you know what I'm yet? hoping? <laughs> That it's not as good. Yeah, as I'm, I'm really hoping that we can see it and say it's a really great film, but I agree with the committee. And unfortunately, when has that ever been the case? That the track history has been the opposite. Actually, I don't, I think them sending the right film is the thing that their track record doesn't stick with. Because let's what what has been submitted? Lava Chili's. The only one, one, yeah, the only one since we've done the channel that we were in agreement with and supporting and screaming the praises of was Jolly Katu. Well, we said a gully boy, but we were also very new at the time. And our gully boy reasons were not about uh, the like artistic excellence. The it was about the smartness yeah. of the politics. Yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. Um, so, because uh, I, don't, I, I don't think they have a, an issue, actually, with choosing quality films. Um, last year they did. What was, the, what was last year? 2018. Oh, yeah. No, that that was terrible. That was terrible. Uh, dude, <laughs> that's, that's by far your worst choice uh, from the time we've been doing the channel. But other than that. Lapita Ladies. Lapita last Ladies, film show was Last great. film show. Um, 2018. Yeah, not a good one. Uh, uh, and Gully uh, Jolly Boy. Katu Jolly and, Katu Gully, and Gully Boy. Have those been? Those are the five in the five years we've done the channel. Those are the five? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then just before that was the controversy that they did not select the Lunchbox. Yeah, what year was Hellero? Don't know. I think it was while we were in the, doing the channel. May have been. Was it Gully Boy year? Because may that, have been. If we would have seen that and Gully Boy has been yeah, sent instead of Hellero, that would have may actually have made me quite mad. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But obviously, I, that was our first year. And so no, we and this does have a, again. If um, if all but, we imagine is light, isn't like the kind of film you walk away from and you're talking about it for two or three days then I completely understand. You can't do an Oscars campaign on the wave of Cam. Yeah. That is not enough. Yeah. And you've got Amir Khan, who's one of the most renowned, recognized people in Indian film history and is the last person to have a film that made it as a submission yeah, with Lagan. Yeah. Plus, you have one of the producers who can just write you blank checks to promote the thing. Plus, yeah. it's already on OTT platforms, so screening the films is going to be easy for everybody. Yeah. It's it's not a weird I find I find them calling it a snub here odd only because we haven't seen the, the, all we imagine is yeah, like. Yeah, it really sucks that we haven't seen it cuz then we could have And much we won't till November. Educated um And that remains to be seen. And it could add, that one can actually still make best picture. It would be a long shot, but it's it almost one can. Yeah. Uh, so it, it can, obviously, it just, it's a much harder process. Yes. <laughs> much. To, uh, and you that, have to have like a massive wave, like a parasite or a. You'll, you'll, yeah, you'll need to have a big wave and you'll need to have people believe in it and you'll need to have people give money to it and you'll need to have wider distribution. Um, so that, that remains to be seen. Yeah. It's weird, I just, I hope we get it here. Yeah. It's a weird conversation with you. I'm very happy for Lapa Chile. I am too. It was one of my, like I said, um, top three. Uh, it would be my, actually my top two if I wasn't including what I have heard right. about um, All We Imagine is Light. So of the films we've seen, it would be my top two. Yeah, the two the two that for us were like, please, if you're going to make choices that aren't All We Imagine is Light, please let it be Lapita Ladies or Adamant Girl that we've seen. That we've seen. Yeah. So I'm very happy for them. Yeah, and then the uh, <laughs> you want to hear some of the other films that were um, entered in the name for the oh I know what you're gonna say for one of them <laughs> Animal was one yeah Kulky yep was another that's the one. one that's the one Kill was uh, apparently uh, submitted um, let's see which which uh, the, those uh, three uh, Anya Kashyap's uh, Tamil film with VJ um, oh the Sam Sam but the that's Vicky's film. Uh, oh, the one we didn't see. Jigarthanda Double X. Yeah, Thangalan was. Oh. Uh, that, that would have been. That would, might have been definitely in my top five. Yeah, um, might have been three of the ones we've seen. Who knows? Uh, and then a couple that we haven't. Article. Uh, you see, all we imagine is yeah. like, is on is there. on there. Um, but yeah, it's interesting because France basically just went. Here you go. <laughs> would you like it? And he went, Nah. Yeah, it, it's gonna be so interesting to actually finally see. Uh, see that film it will because but uh, 
I am pleased that even if it's great and let's say they did make a mistake, I still think Lapita Ladies has a shot. I think if people watch Lapita Ladies. Yeah, I think Lapita Lady has a shot. I think people watch Lapita Ladies here, if Americans watch it. I don't know how they can walk away with it without loving it. Um, because it's it's one, a very good film, high quality, high artistry film, but also it's a feel good film. It is. Uh, and with a powerful message. And I think it does a good job of being accessible internationally, but also being Indian. Indian. Yeah. So. Do I think it's the wrong choice currently? No. And we can't tell. Currently, no. <laughs> uh, until I see <laughs> another film. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, called All We Imagine is Light. Um, le- uh, that's, like, that's like saying, you know, uh, what do you think's the better song? The one you heard or the one you haven't? It's I've got to hear the song. But unfortunately, I've heard a lot about the one I haven't. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And, and it almost won a lot of awards. And the fact that people hear who were at Cannes Mm -hmm. and our reviewers, they're using the word snub tells you a lot. Yeah. Which, again, I don't like that for Lapita Ladies because Lapita Ladies shouldn't be spoken of as the other film. No. It deserves to... If if we didn't have All We Imagine Is Light to talk about, nobody would be saying anything. Everybody would be saying, hey, good choice, uh, better than last year, and this, this has a shot. I really yeah. do think. I, it, I now, want one one of these years to actually <laughs> be like, oh, no, they made the the final cut. I know was, with yeah. a no brainer. Oh, they did it! And then we could have another watch party of the uh, of the Oscars. Maybe there'll be a documentary this year from India. Who knows? I don't. Those don't really get released till. Yeah, have you heard about anything? I haven't heard uh, anything as of uh, yet. But it's pretty early for for all it this is. Kind of stuff. Yeah, um, it is. But because. Um, didn't it, cause when I talked about this on Twitter, there were people that were like, oh, America will never give, uh, an Oscar to an Indian one. It's not America. It's the Oscars. Oscars is artists <laughs> from all over from the world over that the have world. members that vote that are like so it's not Raj Muli, Ali Abad. Our awards aren't like some of the awards in India where they're like government funded. No, <laughs> no, this is. Artist giving artists awards. And they did. They won documentary for uh, Elephant Whisper. And our, our, our song. Our, our, I don't know if it would have won. But it would definitely have been nominated. It would have been nominated. It would have been nominated. Yeah. Easily. And I, I don't I don't think it would have won. Uh, yeah, because that was a strong year for... Uh, it was. What was that, that All Quiet on the Western oh, yeah, Front. All quiet on I the think Western. that was All Quiet on the Western Front. Uh, right? No, that's not the name of that. Yeah, the German one. Wasn't then, that the same year as All Quiet on the Western Front? RRR? Yeah, but I don't think that oh, was you the mean, name of the film. Was that the, the name? The one that won? Yeah. What yeah. was the name of it? All Quiet okay. on the Western Front. Germany. Gotcha. I think that was the year of Triple Yeah, R. well, I know it was a strong year for a couple of other foreign films. Well, and that's the thing is for those of you, here's what I, I'd be interested to know. For those of you who say Hollywood will never give India the best international film, do you watch the films that win? Yeah. Because if you don't, then you really don't, understand what it is the academy is looking for and what the academy is looking for is elevative artistry yep period not animal no why that would even be a a part of you the fact that people are trying to submit that tells you a lot you can love animal all you want and love the film and think it's great but that doesn't mean it's the right submission for the oscar correct like no one here would have even thought to put Fast and the Furious in an Oscar category other than, say, stunts and visual effects. Yeah. They wouldn't submit that for Best Picture. No. Even the creators. Mm-mm. Because they know this is that's that's not what this is. <laughs> like I said, RRR was the exception to the rule. Yeah. Um, you don't submit that style of film unless there's, like, an extreme, like, um, a wave of enthusiasm. Yeah, it was uh, a unicorn it. in many yeah. respects. Um, yeah. But anyways, let us know what you think about the submission. Are, yeah. you, are you excited for it? Are you happy for it? Uh, also, so there were some people complaining that uh, they always only send Bali. I was like, I feel like they've actually sent Malayalam, actually. So five years we've been doing this? How many How many Bollywood films? <sighs> what? Okay. This is the second one, right? Gully Boy. And this. And this. Because Jolly Katu. Yeah. And then 2018 is Malayalam, obviously. Right. Uh... And then uh, that last film show, is that Gujarati? Last film show was... uh, Was that Hindi? I don't remember. I don't remember. I'm so sorry. I think it was either... I think it was Gujarati. Maybe it was Marathi. Um, I just had that um, last film show. 
Here we go. Last film show. I know it's Indian. I think you could have that argument the year Gully Boy won, maybe. Cello um, show. You were right. It's good to write. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, so I don't think they have a Bollywood bias. Um, they clearly don't. Um, especially since last year they sent 2018, another film that <laughs> should have been nowhere near a nomination. At least um, in the, the five years that we've been doing it, two of the five yeah. have been Hindi. Yeah. Um, before that, I don't know. Um, it'd be interesting to go back, though, uh, in like the Gully Boy year since we've seen more. I would what we actually think. I would say edited. of the five years, and we've watched them make submissions, the best submission and the one we were most excited about and thought you nailed it was Jalikatu. This would be second. Yeah. I think Lapata Ladies is the second best. Now, Gully Boy would be third for me because that made sense campaigning and politically. It didn't make sense artistically. Yeah. Because that was a good movie. It's not, a, it's not an international yeah. elevative artistry. RRR would have been one, though. Yeah, <laughs> that would have been nominated uh, once yeah. again. But yeah, no, I agree. Uh, this is, I, I think, a good choice. I, I do. I, I do. I do really and think I'm happy this is a good choice. That. And I really hope that we hear like, all right, now it's it's on the, it's made the, it's also, the short list. I think and, it's also quite validating for, for Amir Khan, whose focus is really, he, uh, from what I know about him, I don't know him personally, but from what I know about him, and I have two, we have two degrees of separation of relationships of people who do know Amir Khan. That he he really does want to do things of artistic excellence. He wants to put his money behind them. He wants to put himself in them. And when they don't do well artistically, um, he's not pleased with them. And I, I'm I'm happy to see him and for his his ex wife and mm -hmm. that the whole creative team. It's you're on an exciting journey now for the next several weeks. You come to Hollywood, please uh, hit us up. Especially if you guys make the short list. Yes. Um, that'll keep the excitement and the momentum going. So, yeah, congratulations. Anyways, uh, let us know what you think about this mission, if you're excited for it, and anything else we need to know down below. Josh!